This is a Evo motor and I decided to start checking it out. Now anytime I buy anything used, I basically I want to tear it down to the crank pin and check the pin, put new bearings and seals in it. The person I bought it from said it was completely rebuilt, but I never believe that. And do you want to take the chance? I've had motors where if you fired them up, they would have been destroyed in seconds. First thing I want to do before I tear it all the way down, I, I pulled the um, rocker boxes off and the rocker arms and I want to check the leak down. The best way to check leak down is to pull the push rods out of them. You can easily do it with the push rods in. But all you have to do when the push rods are out of it is just find top dead center. It doesn't even have to be on the compression stroke. And I just use a screwdriver, right? So I'm here. I put a screwdriver down. I just lightly turn. And you have to watch. You can easily catch the screwdriver and start messing things up. So I just take a little screwdriver like that. And then when the screwdriver peeks out like that, I know I'm at top dead center. And there's going to be a little dwell at top dead center. So I'm, right now I'm at top dead center on this cylinder. And then I have this leak down checker that I built. It's a gauge. It's a regulator. In the outlet side of it, you have to have a 40 thousandths orifice. I hook up the leak down tester like this. Okay, so first thing you want to do is put air to the leak down checker. I've got about 78 pounds on my compressor right now. And now I'm just going to hook it up. As you can see, it's reading 12 or 14 pounds of air pressure. So that's a hell of a lot of leak. It's right here out of the intake. So my fully rebuilt motor seems to be leaking tons of air. Not only is it coming out the intake, but it sounds like it's going past the rings. And that's how you leak down check them. Now while I'm at it, I'm going to check the rear cylinder. And again, you don't have to be on the compression stroke in this case. because there's no push rods in it. Now that's top dead center. Again, I'll connect the leak down tester to it. Here goes the hose and this hose has an O-ring on it. Now you heard my compressor kick on. I'm at about 80 pounds. I have it regulated to 80 pounds. So if I plug this in and it dropped to 72, well, that would be 10% leak. You can see this cylinder is a little better. It's at 40. That's 50% leak, which is, which is no good at all. This motor is coming apart anyway, but at least now I know where they were.